MagPass Air Ambulance is a life-saving emergency medical charity activated, on average, four times a day to the most seriously ill and injured people in our community. People in life-threatening emergencies when every second counts. The MagPass medical team consists of a senior doctor and a critical care paramedic on every shift, specially trained in pre-hospital emergency medicine. This means that they have learned how to deliver treatments and carry out procedures at the scene of an emergency that are usually only available in a hospital. We're able to provide treatment such as anaesthetics in the same way that you might have in a hospital. We're also able to um, provide blood transfusions for major trauma patients. And we're able to take over patients' ventilation and breathing and support their life um, when they may be critically unwell. We're having to do this with only the bags that we've got on our backs. So we have a very limited amount of kit. This provides a very different set of challenges from doing the same job in a hospital. Sometimes the conditions that we work in are very challenging as well. We can work uh, anywhere in the outdoor space. So we could be working on the edge of a river, we could be working in a farm, we could be working in the darkness under a bridge. And this again makes the job much, much more difficult and adds another layer of complexity to what can be already very difficult medical situations. It's a very different environment, obviously, from being in a hospital and a lot less controlled, a lot more chaotic. Uh, so that adds additional challenges to what we do. Because the challenges are so different, we have to be specifically trained to work at, at MagPass or on, on an air ambulance. Uh, so every year we have a, a new group of doctors who come and work for the air ambulance and learn the skill on the job. This is my first year working with MagPass and I've learned so much in the last four months and hope to continue working here for, for a long time. Alice was 19 years old when she had a cardiac arrest at home and needed the care of the Magpass Air Ambulance team. It's every parent's nightmare really to, to know that's happening to your daughter. Um, so it's really, really scary, but equally um, a real relief to have the, the ambulance crew and then the Magpass crew turn up so quickly because they really, really did get there quickly and got straight down to the business of caring for Alice. So there were a number of things that we did for Alice. Uh, the first one was we provided CPR. Um, we, we gained access into her veins and gave her adrenaline. Um, and we put a tube down, her, down into her throat so that we could, we could give her 100% oxygen as efficiently as possible. Because one of her, one of her lungs wasn't inflating, we, we also performed a surgical procedure while she was on the kitchen floor which involved cutting um, into the side of her chest to allow her lung to re-expand. This would not normally be done by a paramedic crew um, on, on a scene. This is something that would either be done by, by uh, a critical care team or, or more usually it would be done in a hospital. MagPass Air Ambulance is activated by a 999 dispatcher and support the ambulance service when a more advanced level of care is required. MagPass Air Ambulance can be called to anyone at any time, but most frequently attend road traffic collisions where there can be multiple casualties, serious medical events such as a person in cardiac arrest or accidental injuries. MagPass use a state-of-the-art air ambulance to get the skills of their doctors and paramedics, along with their life-saving equipment, to the patient as quickly as possible. The helicopter flies at speeds of greater than 160 miles per hour. This means we will fly to anywhere in the region in less than 30 minutes. Our average flight time to a patient is less than 10 minutes. Given the nature of work we do, we are given priority over other aircraft. This includes priority through international airports. During the hours of darkness, we use night vision goggles. This gives us enhanced visibility, which allows us to fly safely at night. MagPass Air Ambulance can be dispatched to anywhere across the east of England and into the East Midlands, caring for a population of 10 million. But the majority of their activations are to people in Cambridgeshire, Bedfordshire and the surrounding counties. MagPass Air Ambulance operates 24-7, around the clock, every day of the year, using the helicopter between 7am to 7pm and their three rapid response vehicles through the night, when flying is more complicated and the speed advantage is reduced. We can be called to anyone at any point. It could be any one of us. 
who are most frequently called to men aged 25 to 64. Every week we are called to a child in a life-threatening emergency. These can often be the hardest jobs for us. This really is medicine at the edge of life and death. And everything Magpass Air Ambulance does is aimed at saving lives, keeping families together and reducing the long-term impact of patients' injuries. When the call comes in, we grab our helmets and head out to the aircraft. We can't help but be aware that this could be a life-changing incident, not just for the patient, but for their family too. A patient is someone's mum, dad, brother or sister. It's a huge responsibility, but also very rewarding knowing that we can make the difference that keeps a family together. So we were at a swimming lesson in the middle of a field a good distance away from a hospital. Zach started to feel unwell and then started to have a seizure. I knew that this was a really a life-threatening occasion that perhaps an ambulance wouldn't get to us on time. We were at least half an hour away and in rush hour traffic I was thinking, will they get here? He was unconscious, he was getting bluer. It was as serious as, as things can get. I heard this of, of the air ambulance landing and and then I remember the um, doctors <laughs> running across in the in their big bright orange life-saving uniforms um, and they said you know it's, it's Magpass air ambulance and they started giving him the oxygen and he started to get colour in his cheeks and and to stop his seizures they had to give him a life-saving drug. I think if we'd had to wait uh, I'm not sure whether I'd have this 11 year old that I've got today, <laughs> which is a great boy. It feels lucky that I live in a country where there are these services. Uh, it feels lucky that people support these things. It feels lucky that doctors give their time to do these things. I think I feel really lucky. Magpass Air Ambulance is a charity funded by donations. The organisation needs to raise in the region of £6 million every year to keep their helicopter flying, their doctors and paramedics responding 24-7, and their equipment and drugs stocked and ready to save lives. Magpass Air Ambulance is really fortunate to have the support of all of the communities in which we operate. Magpass Air Ambulance is literally powered by people, whether that's our supporters, our donors, our patients, clinicians or staff. It really does take all of us together, now and into the future, to continue to save lives. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.